Got a new report claims more and more Texan, Texas Latinos are leaving the Democratic Party behind and the ongoing crisis at the border is partially to blame. This, as a DHS source reveals, migrant encounters in August soared well over 200,000. That's up over 300 percent from 2020. Joining me now is Texas Land Commissioner and candidate for Texas Attorney General George P. Bush. George, what do those numbers mean in practical problems for Texas? Well, it's overwhelming our capacity to handle uh, not only crime in border communities, but dealing with the processing of hundreds of thousands of new individuals. I was just on the phone with the city manager in Del Rio, and they say that there are thousands of asylum requests uh, now just sitting under the International Bridge. Um, you know, we've seen the harrowing image of children that, that are being abandoned on the banks of the Rio Grande River as well, but we've got a serious asylum crisis on the southern border. It's overwhelming our resources, and the federal government is demonstrating no sense of urgency on this. So the state of Texas is stepping up to, to build wall, to assist our Customs Border Patrol officials, and do what we can because the federal government's not doing their job. Well, we had the Remain in Mexico policy, and you're suing to build the wall. Where are both those th situations? The Supreme Court said, do it. Put Remain in Mexico back. What is, what's happening with it? Well, we're hearing that the administration is slow playing the American people on being transparent on implementing this important policy. And to remind your viewers, this is probably the most important uh, migrant protection protocol that was keeping order on our border because now folks know that they can apply for asylum and have their case heard in the United States being caught essentially and released right. into our system. And that's not a good policy. It results in disorder and chaos and the anarchy that we're seeing every single day on our southern border. As Lane Commissioner, what is your reaction also as a parent when you see a baby in a, uh, in a carrier with a two-year-old in the brush? It shows that this administration is not compassionate when it comes to this policy. To say that it's okay for parents in Honduras to pay $10,000 to a coyote to send their children to the American border is not the compassionate way to handle uh, an immigration crisis. We are a country of laws, not of men, and we pride ourselves on order and a methodology and a process by which we potentially allow folks to apply for legal status in our country. What we're seeing now is completely lawless. It only benefits the cartels. And it's the administration that's sending these false promises to not only Central America, but throughout the world, that all you have to do is come here, get to the border, apply for asylum, and then blend into the shadows with a notice to appear, hopefully in the next two to three years before an immigration judge. Uh, George, you have a Hispanic background. And if the Republican Party is going to have a bright future, they're going to win over the Hispanic vote and the Hispanic community. I know it's a diverse community. Having said that, there's inroads being made in Texas. Why? How? Well, I'm proud to report to you, Brian, that uh, many in the conservative movement here in Texas have been laying the groundwork for, for years, if not decades. And the labor of our, the fruit of our labor is now being seen where uh, Folks like President Trump carried Zapata County. Zapata County is over 93% Hispanic. I would venture to say over 80% speak Spanish as a first language. But yet, President Trump was the first Republican to carry that county since uh, Warren Harding, I, I believe. Um, you look at Javier Villalobos, who's the new mayor of McAllen, the first Republican in decades. And it's just because of the simple issues, whether it's border security, Second Amendment, uh, faith, and also entrepreneurship. That completely aligns with uh, the Republican Party, and that's why we're having a lot of success. President Trump carried and flipped five counties that Hillary Clinton won in 2016, and there are several state House of Representatives that are in Democratic-controlled areas that President Trump, Trump won. So I suspect during redistricting, you're going to see a lot of announcements of conservative Democrats come over to our side. I'm proud to be a part of that effort to make sure that the Hispanic community continues to vote Republican. And he wants to be the next attorney general in Texas, and he's working to do that. And if California wants to have some success, they should take a lesson from Texas, another lesson from Texas. Uh, George P. Bush, Texas Land Commissioner, I know you have your hands full. Thanks so much.